Hello again. You're looking at a, another game which has just found itself on my radar, which is Out of Action, uh, which is an indie first person shooter. Uh, it's going to be, you know, multiplayer based arena shooter style game, from what I can tell. Uh, but the interesting thing I heard about this is that it's made by a single developer, um, which I couldn't, I couldn't actively verify that. I had a look at their social media and their, their store page, and they weren't advertising the fact. But, uh, oh, here we go. It says it right here. Solo developed project that is still actively being worked on. So this is an offline demo they've just released in the last couple of weeks, uh, just to give give us a taste of what they've uh, put together so far. It seems pretty customizable. Okay, so there's leaning, dive prone air dash, scans. So I don't actually know a lot about it, but it seems like a sort of a futuristic cyberpunk style first person shooter that's about all I know I'm going to turn that volume down a little bit hopefully you can still hear it uh, okay and so this is again an offline preview demo so it's just against bots okay I'm just going to reduce it to about 6 and leave them on the base threat level just to get a feel for the game Okay, demo loadout testing. The loadout screen presented here is a temporary placeholder intended solely for testing purposes. It includes only a limited selection of weapons, attachments, equipment, and perks that will be available in the final game. Information and statistics given are non comprehensive, may lack accuracy, and will be subject to change as the game develops. Loadout availability will be earned through player progression and will be personalized outside of actual gameplay. Interesting. Okay, so you've got defense, vitals, and speed stats. And uh, it looks like we've got quite a number of different types of loadout to choose from. Got a shell. Okay. So shell is possibly your armor or your, your body type. With different stats, different perks. Regeneration. Hover, air dash. Aerial, aerial mobility, optical camouflage, okay. And so what's Bison? He's basically increased stamina recovery, core generation, reduced slowdown, and explosive resistance, but half speed, so he's probably a more tanky sort of sort of character. So a backup would be like a secondary weapon, sword, throwing knives, or fists, sidearm, pistol, PW, Sauna for Revolver. Different ammo types. Shred, Heavy, Piercing. ED. I'll choose a primary. I'll just start with the assault rifle. Ah, oh, different optics as well. Perks. Oh, wow. <laughs> Have a look at these. No longer be detected. Can detect me by enemies. Radar detection. Recovery. Dexterity. Wow, it's going to take a while to even go through and comprehend all of this. And equip two weapon mods. Additional ammo in reserve. Okay. I the recovery and... Ooh, what's just a basic one that I don't have to think too much about? Dual wield sidearms. Additional devices. Threat detection. And here we go. And devices. Detonators. Firecrackers. Oh, yeah, basically fire bombs. Proximity mines. Overcharge. Holster. Ground. I'm gonna go proximity mine. Stun snare disable. Explosives. Also the fence. Crowd. Uh, okay. I'll give that a go. Still have no idea what I'm doing. All units, weapons free. Weapons free. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Shift is dive. Crouch is control or sorry, slide. C is something. 
Okay, aim down sights is pretty standard. Q and E to lean. Oh, just went past me. Oh, I need to get out of the habit of pushing shift to sprint. Is that me? But I got him. Some slowdown effects happening. That's pretty satisfying, actually. Feels really good. Got a pistol. Oh. Oh god. I don't know what's happening, I'm just rolling into fire. Okay. So shift is not sprint. Shift is not sprint. Uh, I think quite work out how to use these. Uh, so they're down the bottom there. Three is a knife. Four is a stim pack. Oh, okay. that was a bit rude. I don't know what's causing that slowdown. I don't think it's me. Looks pretty nice. It's. Oh. It's stylized. It's not, you know, the most realistic looking game, obviously. But, uh. I like the look of it. It's very clean in a grungy cyberpunk sort of way. Excuse me? Okay, so that's obviously the threat detection working where I can sort of see their silhouette through the wall. Uh, I just need to check the controls. How do I use... Oh. Use you. What is this? I oh, didn't even see what happened. Um, that's okay, I was looking at controls. Device 1, ah, X and C. Device 1, device 2. Scan is middle mouse. I should check that. Activate core. Aim stance. Switch weapon. Okay. X, C. Scan is middle mouse. Let's scan. Oh no, that was disabled while I had perk wasn't it okay so I'm going to push X no that will see X ah proximity mine okay cool only got one of oh no they're on a cooldown a pretty lengthy cooldown too so no ammo to worry about but obviously not spammable which is nice Where is everybody? It's been a while since I played a good uh, first person shooter. I got into. Ah, oh, my mind got somebody. Um, the last one I played was Battlefield 2142, and you know, that's obviously. The problems with that were well documented. Um, it did get a lot better towards the end, but I found that it was just hard to get into a, a proper game, and I sort of fell off a little bit. I uh, wouldn't mind getting back into it because it was a solid game despite all the issues. The gameplay itself was very nice, but this is, um, you know, for a solo indie dev. Hard to split them, really. Those things a bit differently. There's obviously oh, hello, more melee, there's other things like cloaking and that sort of stuff, and diving. That's a little bit different. Oh, <laughs> nice grenade. Um, yeah, but this, yeah, holds its own very well. I'm going to change the threat detection, maybe. Might do, I'll just try that just to see if we can get a scan happening. Okay. Scan is basically a different view. Get an idea of where the enemies are around the level. Reminds me of the, um, the far sight and... Perfect car. 
a bit less uh, unwieldy, and obviously not tied to a weapon. Five away from that, did I make it? No. Oh, yes. Oh, no. What's happening? Being hacked, maybe. Oh my goodness. Hello, friends. There's some uh, damage over time happening there. Okay. Well, I haven't used my backup. How do I use that? Three. Three is the backup. V is melee. I'm gonna try something else. I'm gonna go with a shotgun. Okay. Yep, it's pretty standard fair. Again, shift is not dash or sprint. It's the hardest thing to get used to here. Hello. It was cloaked. That could be potentially dangerous. Hello. Hello again. Oh, I thought I was diving into a doorway. It was just a wall. Target painter is a sight. Presser. You can mod your sidearm as well. Plenty of options. So yeah, as I said, this is just the demo. So these loadouts and equipments are just uh, there for testing purposes. Obviously, that will change a lot. I'm guessing there's progression to unlock a lot of these things, similar to Battlefield, I would assume. Where the more you play, the more you unlock. The more you use the gun, you might get more attachments for it, that sort of thing. But it doesn't seem like anything is quite confirmed just yet. Super. Take it. It's going to take some getting used to that uh, movement. Cool, though. It sort of reminds me of... Um, what was that mod? Half-Life for Specialists? Or sort of a Matrixy. You have katanas, you've got guns, you dive around in bullet time. Oh, empty. Uh, is bullet time a, a perk, maybe? Uh, where are we? Handling speed. A profile. Experimental specialist stockpile. Nano wire can steal disarm weapons. I don't quite know if that's. Activate core, maybe. Where was that? No. Left alt. Yes, okay, that's it. So that'll slowly, that's my top bar on the bottom left there, that'll presumably slowly recharge. Very slowly, which is not a bad thing because in a multiplayer game you probably don't want to be in slow motion repeatedly every game that does seem to affect everybody it's spawning Here we go. yeah this feels great it's uh very smooth looks awesome uh, oh, I think I was taking damage over time again. I'm not going to blame the wife for that. I think I'll just blame myself. I'm probably just not aware of what I'm looking for. Let's try a different class, maybe. So the ghost has optical camouflage, but they're weak. Untargetable by T-lock ammo. Activating core overloads all disabled enemies in line of sight. Uh, I'll, I guess I'll just try the Hydra and just see if there's any noticeable difference just off the bat. Oh, hello. I should be leaning. Okay. 
Okay, sound design is good. I could pinpoint him quite easily with uh, headphones. Yeah, that's not shotgun range, mate. There's a bit of chatter as well from the box. Hey. something I feel what my second uh, uh, device was shroud that's not very exciting is it I'm gonna go to the firecracker just a bit more throwable damage in situations like that Just, I mean, I'm guessing it's just because they're dumb bots and not human players, and so maybe they're not quite as effective against intelligent people, but. Uh, five bomb, five bomb, five bomb. Excuse you. Ah, uh, five bombs on cooldown. Maybe using one puts both on cooldown? I will not surrender. Or hide like a coward. Excuse you. Are you on a team? Why aren't you playing each other? Uh oh. Five of them to myself, that's my ones. Excuse you. Empty. Go away. <laughs> Need to remember to use my backup weapon. Or was that the throwing knives? Hover and air dash. Burn resistance. Speed reduction though. Need reduction. But the bison is actually has the least speed reduction from what I can tell. What was my backup again? Three. Right, okay. This is a uh, super impressive for a solo indie dev. I mean, obviously, it remains to be seen how it performs in multiplayer. It's a different kettle of fish, really, isn't it? When you've got, you know, a dozen or so or more real players. Networking can obviously introduce a lot more challenges, but... <laughs> um, but yeah, for, for what it is, what am I against? Six bots? It's a little bit hectic, but it's running well. Playing well. Old action rifle. Uh, I don't see that being too helpful in this kind of map, but I'll try the SMG. Look at my uh, crosshair sway. That's interesting. No doubt there'll be perks or shells that will improve that. Uh, that is a good, healthy rate of fire right there. Love the elevator music. I'm pointing up then. Am I bleeding? Yep. <laughs> Got me good. Uh, what else can I change? Change my secondary to a revolver, that's always good. Charge, what does that mean? I'm out. 59 kills, that doesn't seem right. Off the KD there, damage down. Hey! Don't kill me. Um, yeah, this is pretty cool. So it was just a short little 15 minute uh, test run, I assume, with an offline demo against bots. But uh, yeah, definitely one to keep an eye on. So again, the demo came out, I think, a week or two ago. Full release is uh, stated to be this year. But, uh, you know, things can change. 
especially when there's no set date in place. So definitely one to keep an eye on. Uh, it's on Steam at the moment. You can actually download and play the demo there. Chuck it on your wish list. I really recommend it. It's a yeah, a nice one just to play around with, and I think it might have a very bright future. So uh, yeah, one to watch. Next few time, I'll wrap it up there. Thanks for watching, and I'll hopefully see you next time.